I had no intention of starting my video off in this sort of way. I have cried in tutorials in the past and I've just simply cut that part out, re-edited my video and uploaded it like nothing ever happened. And I realized it's because I did this a lot to myself whilst I had acne because I would try to communicate and tell people just how shitty having acne would make me feel and they would be like, oh, well, it's just acne. It's it's not life-threatening. Um, it's not harmful in any way. So you should get over it. It's like in that moment, I let go of all of those negative emotions that I was harboring towards myself and my skin when really I should be looking at this whole experience as a great way to build character and my skin imperfections as maybe my own unique perfections. I feel like this is the first time in my life where I've accepted myself and I have a good skincare routine, a good makeup routine that I wanted to share with you. So this is what my skin currently looks like with absolutely no makeup on and I am so proud of you skin. I have been traveling so I'm in Italy right now. Usually my contact dermatitis will flare up. I will have acne flare ups because I'm not eating right. I'm not drinking well and I'm not sleeping um, as much as I usually do. So it definitely shows in my skin and I have to give credit where credit is due. I have been using Aven consistently and you guys know that I have been using them for years. I know a lot of people have been asking me for an updated skincare routine. Nothing really has changed. So I'm gonna be showing products that you've already seen um, besides this new kind of like foundation skincare and SPF product that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Um, I'm just going to like stop talking and show you what I'm doing to my skin. Now my skin is already clean because I've cleansed my skin in the shower using my blue Clenin's cleanser. I've used that for like four or five years and I'm still using it because put it simply, it works. Is the Aven Skin Recovery Rich Cream. This is an intensely nourishing, rich moisturizer for more reactive and sensitive skin types. The one that I'm using today because my skin is really good and very stable is the Hydrance Cream, the Rich Cream by Aven. Oh my goodness, it is so good at just intensely hydrating the skin, but smoothing out like the feel and the look of it. It's why I keep touching my skin. It's why I bring this moisturizer down onto my neck and onto my chest area because it is such a beautiful cream. Now moving on to my foundation, my concealer and my contour, I have literally just been using one product in two different shades because it is that versatile and brilliant. It is the new Aven Tinted Compact Cream. I have been using this every single day because it is that good. It is like a tinted moisturizer, a normal foundation, a full coverage foundation. It can be your contour. It is also your SPF protection because it has a mineral skin protecting factor of 50. If you do have a reactive skin like I do, you can definitely use it and it also works as a concealer. Now this compact does come with its own circular sponge and it's so durable and soft and just beautiful to use, but I only ever use this when I need to touch up my makeup on the go. So if I need to, I don't know, cover up a pimple or reapply my SPF, I will use that sponge. But when I'm at home doing my makeup in my makeup room, I will just use a makeup sponge and I will dip the makeup sponge into the circular pan of cream product. And then I will just lightly bounce the sponge on my face and on my neck and my decollete area. Now, the amount of product that I used is actually enough to do my whole face and my neck. But then I realized I wanted to show you um, what how the product applies with a sponge and a brush. So I ended up using all of that product on one side of my face and I dragged it down onto my neck and my chest area. And as you can see, it looks so flawless and my skin looks lifted. This is actually kind of like a demi matte formula. It's not a flat matte. It's like your skin is naturally glowing because it's healthy. It's not dewy, it's not illuminating. It's just like this healthy, expensive skin glow. That's what I would call it. 
I personally like to use a light veil all over my face just to even out my complexion. And then I just add a little bit of extra product to the tip of my sponge and use that as like a concealer or a full coverage foundation on areas that need extra coverage. So for me, it's the pimples and the scarring on the left hand side of my face and on my chin and also underneath my eyes to cover up and knock out any darkness. As you can see, it's very lifting. I personally will never ever use a highlighter over this product only because nothing in my collection mimics that kind of glow. And like I said, it gives your skin that expensive polished look. And when I was looking for a foundation and a concealer that was actually well formulated and great to use for the skin, that was the kind of look that I wanted to mimic because I obviously had acne and dermatitis and texture. Now this formula doesn't seep into the sponge. So when you're using it, you're, you're taking the product across the skin and it's actually not being wasted or absorbed by the sponge. Now, if you are a brush person, this formula applies really, really well using synthetic bristles. It just glides over the skin. I typically don't use fusion products of skincare and makeup with brushes because they're just notorious for creating streak marks on the face. So essentially you can't layer any more products on top, but not this one. It layers beautifully if you need to add more coverage using a brush. So For that I would actually use a smaller denser synthetic brush to deposit more pigment and more product onto areas that may have blemishes, acne scarring, maybe some dermatitis flare up that I want to cover up and needs a little bit of extra help. Yes, I said dermatitis because this is literally so gentle on reactive skin that my skin doesn't feel red or hot or irritated when I wear it. It has thermal spring water in it. So that is what's going to soothe the skin. And also vitamin E, which there are so many articles online about the positive impacts vitamin E has on the skin and protecting the skin against free radicals. Now I obviously use the lighter shade of the two as my everyday all over skin cover up, but everybody knows that a sunless tan is a safe way to tan. And I actually use the darker shade, which is honey as a bronzer. So I use this underneath my cheeks, along my jawline, across my forehead, and also on the sides of my nose to give the illusion of a cuter, narrower nose. And yes, I did apply this product through my sockets and just above um, because the product doesn't really move or migrate. It sits reasonably well on the skin, even like through a whole full day's worth of wear. And that is really, really impressive. I also wanted to use a combination of a sponge and a brush to show you how the formula applies over itself, it works both ways. Like you can use a brush, you can use a sponge, um, the sponge that also comes inside of the compact. Now, since this product has literally revolutionized my life in terms of foundation coverage, sun protection, skin protection, I have literally simplified my makeup routine to just using a lipstick as a lip stain and also a cheek stain for a matchy matchy polished skin look. I feel like less is more. I feel like when you have a base that looks this good, you really don't need that much. And that goes to show you how important it is to have a really well formulated base product. Like you can't skimp on a good base product. Now I just realized the lipstick that I used on my cheeks is actually a shiny formula, a very sheer formula. So I'm re mattifying like the cheek area only where I applied the blush. And even though I've just layered some more powder, this skin still looks like glass skin, yo. And this is when it hit me. This is kind of when I got overwhelmed um, and just realized how far I've come in terms of my skin journey, in terms of my own personal development. I am on holidays right now, like a working holiday with my now fiance, John, 
whom if you remember, I was scared to go on a date with him because I had acne. And I used to think that if I cleared my skin, I could then live my life, which is so wrong. And I'm here to tell you that you need to change your mind no matter what your skin looks like. You need to change the way that you think about yourself. Yes, doors did close in my face in the beauty industry when I had acne and I lost my job at a makeup counter. But by changing the way that I think and my attitude towards myself, I gained so much more than I lost. It honestly shits me when I hear people talking about acne and calling it an imperfection and something that is negative and it... How can you not feel negative about yourself when the media and brands are calling your skin condition an imperfection? I think it should be called a unique perfection because honestly, it is the best character builder. I am so much more resilient because of it. And honestly, I just wouldn't be the person that I am today if it wasn't for my acne. And also, um, this formula is actually truly water resistant because I just realized as I was dabbing my tears that there is actually very minimal product transfer on the white tissue. Amazing. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm a cry. You're crying. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I very much look forward to talking to you guys in my next one. See you guys soon. Bye.